Hello everybody, another Excel tutorial from Scott Gardner Technical Services. This time we're going to learn how to use the sum if function to add up criteria from certain rows that you may want to pull out of your spreadsheet. For example, here we have a spreadsheet with some the names of some salespeople the territory that they represent, the product that they sell, and the sales. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to pull out the total sales for the South. On a spreadsheet such as this, we could easily add it up. But if you have a really big spreadsheet with a whole lot of data in it, it would be very difficult to do that. So the sum if function will allow you to pull certain data out and sum it uh, just like you would if you were just adding the numbers together. So we've got our criteria over here, north, south, east, west. We've got our products here. We're going to do a sum if function that will give us the total product sales for the north territory. Two ways you can do this you can manually type in the function, type in the formula, or you can use the insert function. And in this case, it's easier to use the insert function. So we're going to click that. And you can see sum if is here, but that's only because I've used it before. If the sum if function is not listed there, what you can do is you can search for sum if, click go, and it will come up like that. So if you don't see the sum if function in your list as soon as you click on insert function, you can do it that way. So we're going to click OK. And now the first thing that we need is the range of cells that we are searching for our territory. So what range of cells contain our territory? So again, two ways you can do this. You can manually type it in so you can see it's from B2 to B7. So you can do B2 colon B7, just like that. Or the other way you can do it is highlight the cells. So you can do it that way. And you see it puts B2 to B7 in there. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to type in the criteria we are searching for. So in this case, we want north. And now the last thing that we have to do is we have to indicate the sum range, which is what range are we pulling the numbers from to add up? So that would obviously be the sales. So again, you can type in D2 to D7, or you can highlight D2 to D7, whichever way it works exactly the same way that you uh, whichever way you do it, it will work. So we're going to click OK. And now we can see that our total sales for the North are $3,500. And if we just quickly look and add them up, 2100 plus 1400 is indeed 3500 So the same thing will work for the product name. So we're going to get our total sales for widget A. Again, we're going to go insert function. Now, since we've just used the sum if function, it will be listed there. So we can just click OK. And again, the range, except this time it's going to be the product. So you can either type it in or drag it like that. The criteria, widget A. And one thing that you have to be wary of, and I'll show you in a minute, is spacing is important when you're typing in these criteria because it takes exactly what you type in in the criteria box as well as in your list. So I'll show you that in a minute. And the sum range again is going to be our sales. We're going to click OK. And our total product sales for widget A will be $2,300. If you look there, 1,000 plus 1,300, 2,300. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to leave this cell highlighted right here. 
I'm going to go to insert function. Now, what would happen if I accidentally typed widget A without the space? I'm going to click OK. And you notice the total is zero because there is no product that equals widget A without the space. So that will not work. So we have to go back into our function, put the space back in there, and it will work. Okay, and sorry about that, didn't mean to do that. And so if you want to do the same thing for the rest of them, you basically have to do the same thing. So let's do the same thing for the south. We're going to click there. We're going to choose some if. We're going to go our range again. This time it's territory. Our criteria is south. And our sum range is our sales column. We click there. And we'll do the same thing for widget B. I won't do them all because you get the idea. Sum if range is going to be product. Our criteria is widget B typed properly with the space. Our sales column is our sum range. We click OK and we get the sales total for widget B. So that is how you use the SUMIF function to total up certain criteria within your Excel spreadsheet. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a subscribe and a like. I would very much appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.